Here's it going. Today we're going to be tying a duck fly pattern. So the hook I have in the vise is a full and mill super grub, size 12. And the thread I'm going to be using today, <coughs> Summerfly 80 black. So take your thread, a couple of mil just behind the eye, catch on, and work your thread. Nice tight touch and turns. Down the shank and round the bend. Taking it sort of probably just round to about there. There we go. And break off our excess. So for the rib, we're going to be using some Opal Mirage tinsel. Small. Pull off a few inches of that. Catch it in. And <clears throat> cover up all the tag end of that. Bring your thread round. up and back down again. Nice tight turns keeping your body reasonably smooth. There we go and just slightly further down than where you tied your rib in. I'll do this there. So for the body we're going to be using some black seals fur. Just take a pinch and dub it on. You want it dubbed on really really sparse, quite a small dub and noodle to start off with and then as you progress up the fly you want to be getting thicker and thicker so just slide everything down to where your body starts just a couple of turns make sure everything's pleasing you there we go and as you move up if you find your dubbins loosening just give it another couple of twists you're better to put it on little and often. If you had have to add it once or twice throughout bringing the body up, so be it. It's easier to put it on as you need it as to try and take it off. There we go, just slide that down. You're looking for a nice tapered body. Just increasing as you go up the fly. So you want to take about two thirds of the body, take it up with the black, stroke everything back, there we go. And then we're going to come in with some red seals fur. Again, you want this dubbed on a little bit thicker, so a slightly thicker noodle. Sometimes the seals fur can be awkward enough to work with. A wee bit wiry. It's hard to get it dubbed on at times, but it can give a real good effect to the fly. So just build up your body there. There we go. Making sure there's nothing, or not too much anyway, poking forward. So from here, we're going to bring a rib up. Reasonably tight turns to start with, widening out as we progress up the fly. There we go. Just opening up slightly as we move up towards our thorax. That's us there. And catch off three or four turns of thread. Take our scissors. Trim off for excess. Now, just catch it down. Nope, don't like the way that's lying forward. We'll fold that back if we can. There we go, get over the top of that. I'll bind that down nice. So, just to rough up our body a bit, try and pull out. You only really want to pull out some of the, the red, just some of the thorax. Pull our thread up out of the way. Work on the underside of the fly a bit. There we go. That's nice there. 
So we're going to put a couple of wings in here. So I have here a badger cape. Just there's two feathers there. I've matched reasonably even. So I'm going to pull them out. Offer the two tips up. Get them sort of even. For the length, it's up to yourself really. I'm sort of going for around 10 mil. So pull back, just so the camera can see. Pull back a few fibers. Just offer up, open up the stalks, and then <clears throat> just on top of the the shank, the two of them side by side, with a natural curve facing up the way. Hope you can see those finger movements there. Just over the top, a couple of turns of thread. Make sure everything's sitting nice. Just pull them apart slightly. Make sure you're you're happy with them. A couple more tighter turns of thread. And your stocks. Pull them back over just to lock them in. Two turns is ample to lock them in and trim off your excess. There we go. A couple of fibres there. Just going to nick them off. That's not too bad there. Now, for our haggle, have a nice natural black cock, or hen haggle, hen cape, sorry. So just look up, pull out a feather you think would do, do the job. I like quite long sweeping back fibres, so offer it up. That one shouldn't be too bad there. Personally, I like them to come sort of from their tie in to where they're meeting the point. Some people might prefer them a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, each to your own, I suppose. So I just stripped off some of the flue. Just we don't really need too many turns of this. And open up our stock. Just teasing the feathers back slightly, our fibers back. We get our tip. Tie it in. Turns to tighten down, fold her tip back, a few more turns, and just with the scissors, nick it off. So, now take your haggle pliers, catch your stock in, nice and gentle. Take your hen haggle round, pulling the fibres back. Just trying to catch everything and going backwards. So one. Two. Some of them fibres just don't want to lie back, but we'll persevere. Three turns. I think that's enough, to be honest. And then over the top of your stock. Three turns of thread just to catch the stock down in. Take your scissors and trim off nice and tight. So you can see we've got a couple of fibres sticking forward. Just finger and thumb. Stroke them back. A couple of turns of thread to catch them down. That's quite nice there. Now we could finish off the fly here. Just whip finish. Build your head whip finish and that would be it. But I'm going to add couple of jungle cock eyes into this. I have a cape here that's fairly well picked over for from salmon flies. So just pull out a matching pair of eyes. I just same as I did with the tips. Line them up. Strip back the flute. So again, you could tie them in both together, but we'll just try these one by one. I'll do my side first. So two turns of thread just to hold it in place. Drop that one. 
Now for the second side. Just try and match it up similar to the first. Like I say, you could do them both together, but sometimes it's just easier getting them set, doing it individually. Three turns. Again, just to hold it in place. Take a look on the other side, make sure you're happy, make sure they're both matching. Another turn to tighten down in. Hold them both back. A few turns. Oh. Just to lock them in place. There we go. Again, I'll just take a look on the other side to make sure the jungle cock hasn't moved. Seems okay. Trim off our stocks. Nice and tight. A few wee fibres there. Trim them off nice and neat. As close as we can get them. There we go. It's not like there. It's not too bad. So now, oh, slipped a bit. Not a bad recovery. There's one wee fibre. Couple of bits there I didn't see. Get rid of them. Now we'll just build up red. That's the head built. Ready to whip finish. Take my dubbing needle. Varnish on the thread. Three or four wraps. Start our wet finish. Trim off our thread. And again, just to finish that. I'll add another taste of varnish. Plenty of varnish seep down into the thread and we'll just cover that one completely. And there we have a nice wee duck fly pattern that should really sort of come into its own the next week or two certainly the next month great fly for the top dropper thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button hopefully you look forward to seeing my next one